Thank you for joining me for the menu plan tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to add items to a day's worth of meals, how to reuse those items in another day, and how to use those days to create a cycle, which is a range of days, and how to view and use the reports. This tutorial assumes you have some knowledge of the food processor. With your program open, select new menu plan and enter a name and select a profile to compare it to. Now you can use one that's included with the program, like I'm going to do here, or you can create your own. I'm not going to cover that today, but there is a person creation tutorial on our YouTube page. Okay, at this point, I'm going to add the first item by performing a search and selecting the item from the results. You are familiar with this process, I'm sure. I'm going to enter the orange juice from the USDA and when this shows up, you're going to see that it's that it comes in automatically with the user-friendly values of one cup here. That makes it really easy to add stuff to your menu. I'm going to put it in the breakfast menu or meal and then in the juice collection. I'll click OK and then you can see here that it's in my menu. Now while I'm adding the other items, I'm going to tell you about the food pick list. Uh, the food pick list is automatically populated from the foods and ingredients you enter into your days. So once it appears on the list, you'll be able to use it over and over again on other days. Um, Basically, it acts as your personal database of foods, which makes it really easy for you to find and enter the items that you need. Uh, so get this last one in here. Now this one came in as eight ounces. I'm going to change it to one cup just for consistency. And I'm going to remind you to save. Here's your list of juices and okay, the items that you entered into your menu, you can see are now in the food pick list. This is really important and I'm going to show you why. Okay, first I need to add another day. So I go to day and select add day. And this is a different new day menu. I want to add my juices to this day. So all I have to do rather than search for them all over again, I just double click, I double click them all and then add them to my new day. Like so easy enough. Um, now let's pretend here that we've created a few days with breakfast, lunch, and dinner menus and we're now going to use those days to create a cycle, which is a range of days. It can be two days or a week or 10 days. So I click cycle, we have a new cycle here, and the same principle applies. I double click a day on that day and its menu items are all added to your cycle. So you do the same thing, add as many days as necessary. And once again, save your work. All right, we're going to go over here and we're going to open this guy. And you'll see that this day and day two are filled in with a bunch of foods organized by meal and collection, and they've been added to a cycle. I'm going to take a moment here and talk about collections. Um, they're used when individuals are able to choose an item. For example, we have three different juices here and individuals can select one of those three juices for their breakfast. Okay. If you click on the spreadsheet report, I'm going to, I'm going to show you that. And we're going to talk about some options with that. The spreadsheet shows the value of each nutrient for all of the items in the menu with the totals at the bottom. Now, because I have more than one item in each collection, the total isn't going to be a good reflection of the actual intake. 5,400 calories, it's a lot. 
It's about 200% of the recommended intake. So this is where adjusted averages come in. For each item, you can enter the percent frequency you believe the item will be chosen. And the program will show you the average nutrient intake. This allows you to create a variety of menus in one document rather than needing to create an individual iteration for each possible combination, which I think would be really time consuming. Um, just as you can see this more clearly, I'm going to add a calories column. I'm going to right click and select display column. I'm click edit. I'm going to add calories here. Click OK, click OK. And just close these up so I can focus on the juices. Okay, I'm going to check up here, adjusted averages. And then in this example, which has already been entered, I'm saying that an individual will select the orange juice 50% of the time, the apple juice 50% of the time, and the cranberry grape juice 0% of the time. The amount of calories for the juice is going to be the adjusted average of the calories in the orange juice and the apple juice. Same idea with the cereal here and the rest of the items. So now when I look at the spreadsheet, I see about 2,700 calories, 98% of the recommendation. This makes a lot more sense. And the spreadsheet is also useful for seeing where I need to adjust my menu. You know, I look at the totals and I see that the cholesterol is high. I see that the sodium is high and I see that the sodium is high. Oh, in my lunch, my lunch items. So I'm going to have to go back and refigure my menu so my sodium isn't quite so high here. And that ends this tutorial. Thank you for joining us today.